Hello, hello, it's June Olson with Junebug Creations, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you live from Whitefish, Montana. And it has been a Monday. Has it been a Monday for you? It's been a Monday for me. Whew, starting with taking my car off to the dealership, not even my own dealership, but a different dealership to um, get fixed from when I hit that coyote back in November. Crazy, crazy. Finally getting my car in need my car back by next Tuesday because I got all the family coming in for graduation, right? I got to have a van, not the little Subaru. I've never driven a Subaru before. It's a lot different. Um, but yeah, and they said, oh, we might be able to get it back for you. We're kind of behind. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see. We'll see. But doing all that, getting a courtesy car from them it kind of just has made my day running a little bit late and then trying to figure things out finding out about a meeting tomorrow that I didn't know about trying to hook up with some friends having to shift things around and having just this week to get ready for all the family so whoo what a day but in all that in the hubbub of all that hello Kavina nice to have you on here in the hubbub of all that I have graduation cards to give out. It's not just my kid graduating, but he has friends who are graduating. We've gotten some announcements ourselves. So I thought I would show you how to kind of assembly line a couple easy peasy grad cards that you can make. Now, I'm going to preface this with an apology that I'm using a stamp set that just retired, but it's the perfect stamp set for what I'm doing. However, if you don't have it, there are other ways and other stamp sets that I'm going to show you of what you could do. So, um, and then I am using, because it's a school color, I'm using Pacific Point, which retired as well, but I still have it and it happens to be the school color for two of the schools. So I am using that. I tried to look to see if any of the other blues we have would match, but they weren't, they weren't a go. So I am using Pacific Point ink and paper even though it's retired and I am going to be mainly using um, the stamp set Big Hooray that just retired because it's got that Big Hooray which is perfect for a re uh, graduation card, right? Um, I am, I also, <coughs> excuse me, you could use the Hip Hip Hooray on here. It's just not as big but I can show you a way that you can alter that. And then there's also congratulations on this one but it's just smaller and you'll see I'm using now if you use a regular size card those smaller ones would be great I'm using a large card and let me show you what I mean by that so I have here the packs of assorted memories and more cards they are in the catalog still they have carried over and I want to show you it gives us two different sizes of cards so one size is this Oop, that's an envelope one size is this one. It's got score lines on it. It goes into this envelope. It is four and a quarter by three and a quarter, so it's smaller. It would be great for thank you cards if you don't have to mail them. They are too small to mail. So if you want a smaller card, a thank you card size thing, a note card, the note cards that we have that we sell um, for eight dollars in a pack of for a pack of 20 cards and envelopes that would work and those you can mail these are too small so these would be ones that you were giving out by hand okay so i use these for gift cards for little thank you cards that i stick into um order not orders but um ah, can't think of the word that i stick into little things that i'm mailing with it. so not just that oh wait I just got circle sayings is there well there's a celebrate so you could use this celebrate circle saying as well maybe I'll do that on one of the cards I just got this set so I haven't even set it up all right now we have these larger cards all right and they come with the envelopes but they're they are six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So they are larger than a regular card. Here is one of the cards that I'm working on. So you can see how much larger they are. They're a little bit taller and they're just a smidge off. 
could be my cutting though. So they are a little bit larger. So these are the ones that I'm using. These are the cards I'm making for the teachers as a thank you for being an awesome teacher and the principal. I'll show you those when I'm done with them. Kitar has been helping me because, hey, it's for his teachers, right? So these are the ones we're going to use today. So in this packet, there are 40 pieces. So it is 10 um, cards, 10 of each card plus envelopes, okay? 10 of each card plus envelopes. That's what's in this packet. And I don't remember how much they are, so let's have a look. Um, I'm going to have to replace them after this because they are so awesome. All right. My heart stopped for just a minute because I was like, oh, I'm not allowed to show you the inside. But I am allowed to now show you the inside because it is a live catalog. So it's these right here, basic white, assorted, memories and more, cards and envelopes, 20 card bases and envelopes, 10 small, 3 by 4, and 10 large, 4 by 6. Oh. That's not what I was measuring, but okay. <laughs> Mine goes a little bit past those lines. Anyways, so these are the ones that I'm using right here, and they are $10.50 for 10 of each. I don't know what happened there. All right, $10.50 $10 for 10 of each card with envelope. So that's, that's pretty good. You can't buy that. All right, so we've got these. I need three of them for today. So one, two, three. Let's set these aside. And then I have one, two, and three. So we will crease the, they're already, they're already um, scored for you. So then I just wanna make sure to do this to kind of make sure it gets down. Let's see. I guess some were already done. Not sure why. So we'll do this. All right. So we have three cards because I have three boys that I am doing these cards. So we'll change them up just a little bit. But the main outline of it will be about the same. So what I have is I found online, I found the logo for each of their schools and their school colors. Now this school, Catalina Foothills High School in Tucson, and all of these schools are ones that my son could have gone. If we were still in Tucson, he had the choice of the two high schools. And then here he had the choice of the other high school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using both of these colors. Their school colors are black, are blue, and it looks to me like they're blue and white with black accents. But since the card's already white, I didn't want to put white on here, so we're using the black. And then I have the Glacier Wolf Pack, which is the school that my son had a choice to go to. And we've got that. And then we have the Sabino Sabercats. This is not quite, this didn't print out the same color, but theirs is purple because I did bring this here to just show you. So this is a nice purple, so that's as close as I can get. So I'm just trying to match up what I can like that. All right. So. I printed out the logos on our basic white cardstock and then fussy cut them, all right? So I had to fussy cut them out. We have these and then what I'm going to do, and so this is two inches, two by two and three quarters inches are these little rectangles. But they're kind of blah, right? They're just kind of plain. Great colors and all, but they're kind of plain. I paused. Um, am I still paused, Covina? It doesn't show me that I'm paused. Um, I do, I was having some internet issues this morning. So, hi, Missy. Let me know if I'm still paused. It might be on, it might be on your end. Mine's showing that it's going. Um, my computer is kind of acting weird today. It's not showing me all the stuff across the bottom. Missy says I'm not paused. Okay. So, we're going to set these aside for a moment and we're going to bring in the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Woo! Man, it is Monday. It is Monday. Holy camoles. 
<coughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss these each in different ones. So these two will be different, these two will be different, these two will be different. But since I'm running it through and for time purposes, I'm going to run one, I'm gonna run one set of them through this one. This is one of the embossing folders from the, um, what's it from? from the online exclusives goodness gracious um so i'm going to run one of each color through there can i get them all on there together let's see i think if i go this way i probably can all right and so i'm going to do one of them like that now of course if you're making a whole bunch you don't have to do that you can do whatever embossing folders you have and then we'll run those through. And then we'll run the other colors through a different embossing folder. All right, so there's what those look like. Isn't that great? Some great patterns. All right, like that. And then I think, um, let's see. What else do I wanna run it through? Um, I think I'm going to use the splotches, the splatters. I call them splotches. Splatters, splotches. Uh, I cannot get all three through there. So, I'll do this. You know what? I have one of these boys. I'm going to do it this way. One of the boys um, is big into music. He was in the band with Kitar. I don't know if he still is in the band. They went to different high schools. So I think I'm going to use the musical notes one for his. That looks pretty cool. Those look so cool, don't they? Doesn't that look neat? I just love that one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one with the music notes. Just in case he still happens to, he probably still plays, he played a variety of instruments. He probably still does, is my guess. Typically when you're that talented with music, you don't, even if you might not be in the band, oh, that looks really cool. So, that way we've got that. Um, let's move these out of the way. So I've got Kitar helping me make the cards for his teachers and principal and everything. So that's been fun. All right, so then we have these cards and we will do the purple and gold. So I'm just giving a touch of their school colors and then a touch of this. And then this. All right, so just kind of arranging it however you want to arrange it. And then this one will be over there. This one will be over here. This will be over here. Okay, so I'm using the logos. I'm just adding a few colors of their two scout colors. All right, so let's go ahead and first we're going to do the one that is retired all right now i'm not putting these down yet because i want to make sure my sentiments and everything fit where i want them so for this one i need the big block all right this is the eye block and then for the word big i need this one, I guess it goes across that way better. All right, so I think I'm going to do this one with the big hooray, and then we will do the other ones with different ones, okay? So we wanna make sure, oops, that this is right here, so I wanna do that, so I'm going to do All right, 
So just to make sure how it stamps, it's always best to use scratch. Ooh, that's really purple. Let's see, because we've got the two colors, so let's see if we want to make it two colors or if we want to make it one color. So I have the crushed curry for the gold. I'm thinking we want to use this for big and then hooray in the purple, in the gorgeous grape. So we'll bring this over here. All right. We're going to do big up here like that and then close this. And then we're going to do the hooray in purple. So in Tucson, I don't know, my son probably would have wanted to pick this school because his buddy was going there and because of the purple. And yet, most likely he would have ended up at Catalina Foothills because that's the elementary school he was going to. There we go. Hooray. Hooray! There we go. And that will lighten up. It looks really dark and on here, but you, I can see that this lightened up quite a bit. So that's going to be awesome. And then we have like this. So then we will put these a little bit closer and angle a little bit more, and then we'll put that in there. So let's go ahead and do this one. The main thing is to figure out your sentiment before you glue anything down so figure out your sentiment and then oh, i want to do those at the same time and you can see i'm using a lot more glue than usual because they are embossed all right so i want to lay these down at the same time all right there we go <coughs> excuse me like that. And then on the back of this, I'm going to use our dimensionals to make it pop. All right. So, Covina, this would be, you had been asking about graduation cards. So, this would be an idea. I'm going in and out. Oh, darn. Shoot. I don't know. I don't know um, if your internet. Um, What's up with that? You might end up watching the replay. Are you home, Covina, or are you at a graduation? All right, let's see. We're going to stick this right there. All right, so let's get this on here. I'm good on your end. Okay, thank you, Missy. You like that first embossing folder? Yeah, that's in the um, in the online exclusives. So it's this one, this one, and this one. These three come together for thirty dollars. So it's this one, which could be flowers or starfish. These dots, which I almost used, but they really pop up. They really stick up a lot, and I didn't want anything too bulky. I still have to mail these, and then this one. So I really like these. They are fast becoming um, a favorite of mine. Let's get these off of here. All right, and then we'll stick a saber cat right there. All right, big hooray. Okay, and then I have lots of room in here to do something with, and I'll show you that in a moment. Let's go ahead and do the next one. So for this one, you could use this Celebrate, and this comes with as a, um, two and three eighths, is it? Let me check and see, is it the two and three eighths? I think it is, yeah. So this one comes with 
um, as a bundle, it comes with the two and three eighths uh, punch, circle punch. Okay, so you could use the celebrate here. Um, you could also use the congratulations here or the, where did I see? I was thinking I saw you did it, but maybe I didn't. Maybe that was in more of the other ones. And then you could use the hip hip hooray. But you know what? I'm really liking this big hooray. So I'm going to do these three with the big hooray because I'm really liking how that looks. I like how it fills up all that white space. I really like that. So let's clean them off. And I need to grab two colors. So I used for this one, I didn't have a bright green. So I pulled the shaded spruce because it was a closer green than the garden green. The garden green was kind of dull. So I pulled this one up instead. I don't have that exact green. Um, I, we had one and I do have that color, but um, I don't have any of that paper, which was the Call Me Clover paper that would have been a perfect match but i don't have it so we're just going to go with the shaded spruce all right and i think we'll go with the shaded spruce up here for the big and then the hooray in the bright um in the bright blue in the pacific point Right. there we go that will lighten up again maybe I should have done that in the blue but it's done and I don't want to waste the card so I guess I should always test them out here to see for sure I'll be doing the big in the blue and the hooray in the black for the other one because I don't want a black hooray black hooray that just doesn't even sound nice does it Go. Love it. All right, so we'll be doing the big in the in the blue, and then the hooray. Hooray! I guess we'll have to be in the black. I guess the black the hooray will have to be black because the blue because of all that blotch there. I don't want that in black at all right you're at home covina okay well i'm i'm not sure what to tell you on that sadly so let's do the big over here so i guess if you feel like you've missed too much covina you might check out the replay afterwards and see if it rolls better for you Right. There we have the big. Man. All right. Help me out, girls. Should I just do the big and hooray both in blue? Should I tie in maybe that red? I really hate to use the black. I have the black here, but I want it as little black as possible. That's a falcon. That's a peregrine falcon, by the way. Um, I can't use white, obviously. What do you, what do you think? All okay now? Oh, well, good. Maybe your wind was blowing. <laughs> that happens to us sometimes. All right, so tell me. Blue hooray or red hooray or black hooray? Because I have the black here, but, oh, the black just doesn't sound like it would be nice. Missy says blue, yellow. Well, but there's, I mean, there's yellow in the beak, but the school colors aren't yellow. They're blue, white, and black. But I do see the flame here is red, but I hate to do that. You know, I think I am just going to do the blue. I just, that's, that's enough black to me. Any more black, and I think it would be like, eh, too much. But I'm trying to stick with, the yellow would be nice and bright, but I'm trying to stick with the school colors. So, oh, I didn't get, all right. 
When it's really big, it's better to just pick up. There, much better. It's better to just pick it up. All right. So I'm just not rocking it, pushing straight down so it can kind of absorb into the paper. And so this one will just be blue, all blue. All right, so we're gonna go that way. All right, so I want to, uh, I think I'm gonna miss this Pacific point. Luckily, I just have it over there in my retired ink section, but still, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss that blue. When it came to needing a true blue, that was the color. Because the azure afternoon is kind of a turquoisey sort of blue, in a way. And the blueberry bushel is a straight up blue, but not as bright. Even though it's in, no, it's in the regals, actually. All right, so. We'll do that. Like that. And then we'll do dimensionals on the back of here. And then we'll put the other cards together. The other card together. And you can see, so the assembly lining, you're kind of making the same thing. So normally you'd be, for true assembly lining, you'd be doing all the stamping. Then you'd be doing all the gluing of the papers. Then you'd be doing all of this. But yeah, well, I'm not really doing true assembly lining right now. All right, and then I'm going to use a couple of the little ones on the top of the wings because we don't want the wings of the falcon to sag, right? I love peregrine falcons. Have either of you ever read um, the book My Side of the Mountain? It's from way back when. There was a Disney movie on it way back when we were kids. Um, I used to use it. We would read the book in my sixth grade class and then we would do all kinds of activities. And then we would watch the movie and I'd have them compare and contrast the movie versus the book. Because in this case, as in most of the cases, the book is 10 times better than the movie. Well, this movie changed the ending and my kids were so mad, but it was a great way to prove that you can't trust the movie. It doesn't mean it's the book. So there's that one. And then we have the wolf pack. So we'll do. So uh, it's a great book. And then they came out with the other side of the mountain where the sister goes out to live with the brother. And then the third book, which I have not yet read um, because it is a newer book, um, was called Frightfuls, because that's the name of the Peregrine Falcon. Frightfuls something. I can't even remember what it's called. I haven't read it yet. So, my son did though. Kitar read them. He loved them. All right, and then we'll put the wolf pack on. So, we do track against guys on the wolf, on the, that go to Glacier High School, but, um, Kitar's friend is not on the track team. And then we'll do one over here in the nose just to make sure. And pull those off. All right. So here we go. So we have this card, okay, and then there's the inside. We have this card, yay, and we have this card. All right, so what I wanna go ahead and do is show you how, because I don't know, um, uh, comment intimidate or comment scary if you open up a card and all this white is like, oh, what am I gonna do with that? There's so much white in there. Cause that's kind of what happens to me. And I don't really have stamps necessarily for the inside of these cards, just because I don't have anything 
truly focus. So I could on the inside, I have the big hooray on the outside. I could on the inside do, you know, celebrate or congratulations. I could stamp that on the inside, but even so I still have a lot of white. So I'm going to set these two aside because I do have purple handy. Where's my purple? I do have purple handy. So I'm going to pull out my trimmer and this was four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I wonder if they made them just a smidge smaller. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Oh, that's flowery. We don't want flowery. Here we go. That's flowery too, but we're gonna use this side. So I'm going to make it four inches by the six inches. All right. So I can put this inside here to add more color, right? Then it's not so scary. And then on top of that is where I can then trim up a piece. So this is four by six. So now I would go, I want to see some of that purple. So I'm going to go ahead. Plus I don't want to have to have right too much, right? I'm just, I don't know. And then four, that was four inches, so we'd go to three and a half. Let's see how that looks. All right, and then there. Then I still have plenty of room to write. Now, the one thing is here with this, you don't want to, you could emboss this, all right? It would, it fit? Ooh, it would just fit, all right? So you could emboss this. Put it in here, but then don't glue this in until you've written. Because if you emboss this and you glue this down and you start writing, guess what? Your writing is going to be all messed up. All right. Let's see. I would use thin strips of the colors on the inside. Yes, you could do, you could totally do that too. You could totally do that. Use thin strips of the two colors from the front. You could do one on the top and the bottom, or you could do a couple on the side. So let's see. Uh, we'll try a few different things and see. So we could cut, here we go. We'll cut a half inch strip of that one. And then let's see, do I have an inch strip of the other? Is that long enough? Ooh, that's not quite long enough. I don't have a long enough piece over here. Let's see. No, oh, shorter. All right, so. We could do that. And then let's see how long is that one. That one is just under six inches, or so right around six inches. So you could cut that one. All right, and then you could do like right here on this edge, kind of center it and then do another one like that. You could totally do something like that. So there's all kinds of things that you could do to kind of shorten some of the white space and add a little bit to it. You could even do the stripes on both sides if you wanted to write throughout the whole thing. But if you are going to write throughout the whole thing, make sure you do it before you add this stuff to the front. Or again, you're gonna be all warbly on your handwriting. So that's just another possibility of what you could do with the inside, all right? And then you could stamp your congratulations. So if I were to run this through that embossing folder, oops, wrong one. If I were to run this through, Right. let's see will it fit it will just fit so if the new ones truly are four by six then this would be a quarter inch shorter on each side so then it would fit for sure let's do this and then what I'll do is I'll write on that white piece because the the boy Bradley who's getting that one he's like my second son he, um, we've known them since birth class. We met 
the parents in birth class. So our boys grew up together up until we left Arizona. So, and with technology, they have stayed somewhat in touch. Ooh, that's a full sheet of paper in there. All right, so then I could have this on the inside of my card. And then I would not glue down the other one until, so, and then of course, they look differently on each side. So you could even flip it over and make it different. But since I have the stamping on this side, I can't. All right, so then I have this. And then what I would do is I would write on here and then glue it down like that. Okay, so that's what I'll do for this one. And then what you could do if you wanted to, you could also use a piece of the, um, a piece of the cardstock that's embossed and put it on your envelope. In this case, the envelope is too big for this, so you can't really emboss the flap like we do for so many of the other ones. So you would have to add a piece of your color to it that's already embossed, okay? So there is one way. You know what, and I just had another brainstorm. So let's run with it real quick. I'm going to get my and I'm focusing on the purple because you know me, I love the purple. So another thing you could do, here we go, is take your purple and in this corner, you could do your purple. And this idea just came to me, just came to me like, ooh, what could I do with it? with the envelope, all right? And then take that celebrate circle or even the hip hip hooray, whichever one you want. And put that down there, pick that up here. And then with the purple, super dark then, I'm going to just do this like that. So then you have celebrate, celebrate. And on the inside of that circle, eh, there's really nothing in here because you wouldn't put a cupcake necessarily. Um, hmm. Ooh, here's where you could do the, not you did, where did I see the you did it? I saw that somewhere. That would have been perfect for this. You did it. There's woohoo, just for you. What's new? Good luck. Man, the you did it would have been, you're the best ever. I don't know where I saw the you did it, but that's what would go really good in here. I guess you could do the just for you. Uh, let's see, just for you, just for you. Let's do that, just for you. There we go. And so then I have that on the outside and then I have this on the inside with our wishes. So those are just some ideas of how you can do things for the cards. So here's just showing you the different cards and then different ways that you can do the inside. You could do this piece with this and you can emboss it the same as you did on here or you can use the strips on the inside as well whatever you want, really, whatever makes it comfortable. So you know there is a you did it somewhat right, but where? 
Is it a retired one? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere today when I was looking for a sentiment, I saw a you did it. But I am definitely not seeing it right now. I'm like looking at all the stamp sets that are around me, but I'm not seeing a you did it. So I don't know which one, but anyways, something like that, you know, that you could do. Ultimately, if you don't have the stamp, so here's another little trick. If you don't have the stamps you need to make the card, what you can do is print it out off the computer on a piece of cardstock there, though, you would want to use a piece of the good cardstock. Then you can cut it out, pop it up on dimensionals, and they probably won't know or even care whether you stamped it or you printed it. So whenever I'm looking for a sentiment and I don't have a stamp with that sentiment, and it does, it does happen, it does happen, then you can just print it out. But print it out on the good card stock, all right? That way it's quality and it matches your paper. You wouldn't want to put, print it out on copy paper. That will be too flimsy. So print it out on the good basic white card stock and then cut it out with a punch or a die or fussy cut it or whatever and then pop it up on dimensionals and you've got it. So like if I didn't have this, if I didn't have anything that would have worked, then I would have printed something out and I would have cut it out and put it on here, okay? So just so you know that sometimes we just don't have the stamps that we need. We don't have the sentiment that we need or the size maybe, like the you did it was really small, which would have been perfect in here and I'm gonna have to find it because then I'll put it on the others. Um, but if it was too small and I wanted it big like this, then I would just find a cute font on the computer, print it out in the color that I need it on the good cardstock, cut it out, either fussy cut it or cut a circle or punch it or whatever I have, and then put it on the card. Okay, so that's another way that you can do it if, like graduation, you don't have anything that works. But I think this worked. I really like the big hooray for the graduation card. So that, that stamp set I wasn't gonna get rid of anyways because it would also work great in a scrapbook because it is such big fonts. So it's on amazing phrasing. Oh, okay, yeah, I was looking in the old stuff. Thank you, Missy, because I think I'm going to go find it for the other envelopes and put it there with the celebrate. I think that works better than the just you just, than just for you the you did it would be the thing to celebrate. So thanks for checking on that. So thank you both for joining me. If you're catching this on a replay, make sure you go ahead and let me know replay. If you're catching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you know when I'm live so that you can come join us. So I will see, I will be back here live on Wednesday for Paper Pumpkin Play Date. And at this point, I do not have my new one, but it's possible that I get it before then, or with my luck, I'll get it after that, <laughs> but that's okay. So if not, I might be pulling out, I'm probably going to be pulling out my January, my January paper pumpkin, where we had these extra cards and we had the graduation-y kind of things in here. All right, so I'm gonna be working on these Wednesday if I don't get my new kit. If I get my new kit, I'm gonna do the new kit. If I don't get the new kit, we're gonna do more graduation cards because I'm sure I'm not the only one that needs graduation cards. I know Covina does. She's the one that even put this idea in my head. Thank you very much, Covina. I truly appreciate it. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. So I'll see you on Wednesday for Paper Pumpkin Play Date, and we'll either be using the newest Paper Pumpkin for May, or we'll be using January's Paper Pumpkin with the good things come in small packages or something like that to make some more um, 
cards because there were some graduation things in there and so that stamp set and that kit will be used on Wednesday if I don't get my new one. So have a great rest of your Monday and have a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you Wednesday morning. Have a great night everyone. Bye bye.